Elijah Smith School covering some U9 soccer for sports beat. So Pat, what are some of the keys to this game between Home Sweet Home Baking and Yukon Outfitters Association? Well, so far I like a 5-0 team that's on the ropes up against a 1-4 squad. It just shows you that anything can happen in the hot, furious action that is U9 soccer. This isn't video game soccer. This isn't Lego soccer. This is the real thing out here on Elijah Smith Field. Real life and 5-0 and oh, uh, record on the line. Hold Anything on, can happen. Hey, um, is it snack time yet? It is. I'm sure you've seen me on Community Cable 9 Sports Feed. I'm wondering if uh, you guys could talk to us tonight about snack. Why no rinds on the watermelon tonight? I'm not sure. <laughs> Whose mother's responsible for this? There. Okay. Is this a ploy to get extra sticky hands and maybe uh, stop a few more goals in the second half? Please explain. Well, you know, when you're trying to get space between yourself and a defender, it's always good to push. And if you have sticky hands, you give a little push like this, and next thing you know, the, the defender's going like this, and you're going. We got the first opening goal in the action tonight. Tell us a little about that. My friend on my team kind of got an assist and they passed it to me and they kind of chipped the ball over everybody. And the goal, he kind of hit it on his hands and it kind of went over him. Is that a deliberate move, the chip, that you practice at all? Nope. Let's talk a minute about the coaching here, Pat. It's like people with absolutely no experience whatsoever coaching are being thrown out onto the U9 soccer field to lead these kids. I mean, you got a minivan and 12 oranges. That's not going to equal victory. Coach, you were up 3-0 in this game, and now it's 3-2. What led to your epic collapse there in the first half? Uh, we needed a couple of coachable moments. You're an undefeated team up till this yeah, point. Yeah, we have been, yeah. Um, we are a second-half team. I'm not giving up hope yet, though there's a goal against us. 3-0. The hole gets deeper. Do you think that Coach Ross and his squad came in a little overconfident against this red team tonight? Overconfident maybe, but I think it all comes down to the watermelon. Obviously you need grips, something we've learned, it doesn't work. Now, Jordan, I have to ask you, you guys didn't receive a halftime snack. No. Was that a good thing or a bad thing in the long run? Probably a good thing, because when we get hungrier, then we can run the fast faster. It's almost like you guys were feeding on goals tonight. Yeah. What did they taste like? They taste like victory. Well said, Jordan. How many goals did you score? Two. What's the most number of goals you ever scored in a game? Um, two. Two, so this was your record. Abby Rich, two goals here for UConn Outfitter Association. Four feet rules. Yeah. Have you guys beaten this team before? Or is this the first time you've been victorious against the yellow team so far this year? The yellow, yep, this first time. Right on, guys, right on, good game. Good game, you guys are awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No snack for home sweet home bacon tonight, but they still seem to want. Sports It's our only game we lost. But from what we saw on the sidelines, you guys certainly won snack time. Thanks, Garrett's mom. The watermelon was great. I'm Brock McLean. I'm Pat Jablonski. We'll see you next time on Sports Beat. Yeah. <laughs>